Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. So today uh, we will continue with our next question. So hopefully I can cover question 12 and 13 for this video lah. Okay, we start with question 12 straight away. The velocity of a clown truck. I can zoom this one a bit. Okay, the velocity of clown truck which is decelerates uniformly from 50 meter per second to 10 meter per second within the distance of 60 meter okay so again my advice is try to draw a rough sketch so zoom out a little bit and maybe I can draw it over here I don't know what's the difference between clown truck and normal truck just draw it like this <coughs> okay it start from u equals to 50 meter per second Again, like I told before, lah, if you want to take out the information, make sure you write in terms of the appropriate symbol. Example here is the starting velocity, so you use the symbol u. Okay, the final velocity v equals to 10 meter per second <coughs> within a distance of 60 meter. So the system, the distance 60 meter will be your s. I can bring this one a little bit closer. Okay, question number one, calculate the deceleration of trucks. Okay, so if you're not sure which equation you want to use, you can list down all the equation first. So I'm going to start with that. So like I told you before, the question they will ask you at the in uh, graph, like previously, uh, they might ask you in terms of the situation. So you know that you might have to use the equation. So in this case, yes, you have to use it. So you have three questions. Uh, I'm going to list it over here. U plus a t then the second one v square equals to u square plus 2 a s and then s equals to u t plus half a t square hmm. the question want you to find the deceleration okay the deceleration is basically just your a so you want to find your a if you have these three equation Okay, you have u, v, and s, and you want to find a. You don't have any time, so you can cancel out these two equations. So you are left with the second equation, which is v square equals to u square plus 2 a s. So we're going to use that one for a v square equals to u square plus 2 a s. Okay. So we assume that this truck is moving to the right, right? So your u and v will be in positive. <coughs> so v is 10 square, u is 50 square plus 2a. Distance is given, which is 60. Okay, so it will be 100. Minus with the 50 square divided by 2 divided by 60. Here I got is negative 20. Okay, the next question is that they want you to find the time taken for the velocity of the truck to decrease from 50 meter per second to 10 meter per second. Hmm. Okay, so assuming that it has the same deceleration. Now the question states that it start from 50 and end up at uh, 10 meter. Uh, sorry, I think this one is still the same situation. They just want you to find time. It's basically the same info. Okay, so last time we don't have we didn't use this tool because you don't have the time. So now you want to find the time, so you have to use a uh, this tool. Uh. Hmm, I'm thinking which one I want to use. I think I use both, but I just used the first one. You can try to use the third one if you want to. So final velocity, remember that it is from where to where. That's why it's important for you to draw. Okay, sorry. I might have to write the equation first. V equals to U plus A T. So final velocity is 10, it starts from 50, 
plus we know that the a is 20 don't forget to put the negative huh? so a here actually represent the direction uh, the negative represent the direction so since we assume that all of this is to the right so we know that this one is to the left so i think this might be the best if you write the answer before this so therefore deceleration is 20 meter per second squared since the negative represent the direction only so just restate but again if you want to substitute inside this equation you need to substitute the negative or else you will get a negative time which is not true so i got here is two second okay the next question the time taken for the truck to stop from velocity 10 meter per second okay now the question state that find the time for the truck to stop from the velocity of 10 meter okay then you want to find what if braking at the same deceleration but now they want to find your final velocity is equals to zero so your initial velocity now equals to 10. you got the keyword stop there represent that there oops truck to stop means final velocity is zero but the question want to find time so you need to find time again you can use the same formula i use the same i will use the same formula but now your final is zero your initial is 10 because it's say from 10 plus negative 20 t now you can calculate time straight away so you have negative 10 divided by negative 20 so you get time equal to 0 0.5 second the extra distance travel by the truck before it stops so this extra distance is this one lah. Nah. so you want to calculate that one maybe i can use this space instead mm. just make a little bit of box okay in exam don't do it like this eh? do add a new page Okay, D, let's say I use the third equation as equals to U, D, plus, wait, if I use this one, okay, so I already have the time, so I can use this one, sorry, alternatively, oh, that's not alternative, it's, you have to use this one, you cannot use this one, because you don't have the distance, distance yet, so unless you find the distance, then only you can use this equation. Okay, since we already have the time, I can use the S equals to UT plus half A T squared. So S is equals to initial velocity is 10. Time is 0 0.5 plus half. So this one will be negative 20, 0 0.5 squared. Okay. So it will be 10 minus 0.5 multiply by 0.5 which is 5 I do it one by one here's oops two point five so the final answer would be two point five meter yeah okay so it's quite simple nothing complicated it's just that you really need to draw it out then only you can see the actual situation okay moving on moving on to the next question go straight away to question 13. miss yana is driving at 108 kilometer along a straight road suddenly See, it's a schoolgirl run across the road at 100 meters, sorry, 100 meter ahead of the car. <clears throat> so we have few information here. If the reaction time is 0 0.7 second and the maximum deceleration is 4.5 meters square, determine the distance traveled by the car before it stops. 
what happened to that girl so again we assume that the car is moving to the right it's much simpler that way and she's a school girl okay uh, 100 meter ahead of the car so the distance i put d because i would don't want you guys to confuse with the distance the car travel but this one is the distance between the car and the school girl when the miss yana first saw the girl okay driving at 108 kilometer per hours hmm, interesting unit here suddenly okay hmm, if his reaction time his oh miss yana is a his uh, reaction time is 0 0.7 second so basically travel 0 0.7 second this one no braking so i think i'm gonna put it in different color so 0 0.7 second i put this one as t1 okay so t1 is basically the time taken before miss yana start to react so basically she saw something and then after 0 0.7 second that's the only the fastest way that miss yana can react so reaction time reaction time so if she want to break the fastest she can break is after 0 0.7 seconds so during this period a is equals to zero nothing happened lah nampak ya tak sempat break okay and then uh, 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 and maximum deceleration is 4.5 meter per second so i'm gonna put that one as t2 T2 mm, A is equals to negative 4.5 I put negative straight away because we assume that the velocity to the right so the deceleration would be negative tell me the distance travel the car before it stops so finally uh, the car stop eventually the car will stop v is equals to zero but the question is what happened to that girl okay so the question here actually you, you need to know you need to find out whether the car will stop before it hit the girls or after the girl assuming that the girl uh, is not moving anymore just static over there hmm interesting question the okay, first thing first you will see that <coughs> sorry all the unit is in si unit okay except for you okay so if they give you the deceleration uh, in kilometer per hour let's say they give you the time in hours you can stick with this unit and eh? but since everything else in si unit so might as well we change this one okay so how to convert it is one from chapter one so given that u is 100 kilo 108 kilometer per hour so i put that one as pecahan fraction okay so if you want to change from hours to if you want to change from hours to second you can do cross multiply kilometer also so i do the kilometer one first because that one is the easiest so cross multiply means you can cancel out down there by multiply with the in the opposite side so this one kilometer at the top you put kilometer down okay one kilometer represent one thousand meter okay so you cancel out the kilometer you left with meter okay the next one you want to change is the hour there put hour over here and one second so one hour is equal to 60 second so again i can cancel out this one and hour so i left it meter per second so this is how you do the cross multiply simple je. okay so whenever you try to convert a unit be careful if the unit has 
to the power of negative 1, to the power of 2, to the power of 3, square, cube, and so on. So, press your calculator, you will get 108 multiplied by 1000 divided by 60. You should get 1800 meter per second. Okay. I can I calculate wrongly. I might have to double check. Okay. The reason why I got it wrong because one hour actually represent three thousand six hundred second. Okay, which is uh sixty times sixty, sixty minute and sixty second. Hmm, sorry about that. So, it should be 30 meter per second. Okay. Now you already have U, which is in meter per second. I changed this one straight away so that you don't get confused. Okay, now the question is that if you want to determine whether the car will reach the girl or not, you have to determine the the distance it took so basically the question we need you to find s the distance it took whether uh, uh before or after the girl okay so I, i'm gonna divide to s1 and s2 as well with respect to this two time okay so 41 when a is equals to zero the distance it travel again you can copy out the equation over here so that it is easier for you to choose i'm going to put it over here okay you want to find the displacement you have okay yeah you want to find s you do have the a and then you have the u do you have the time yes you have the time so it should be okay you can use the third one so i'm going to use the third equation straight away s equals to u t plus half a t square so a is equals to zero so this one become this term becomes zero so s is equals to 30 meter per second multiply with 0 0.7 I think it will be 210 let me check sorry 21 okay so let me check so S is equals to 21 meter that one is S1 okay put 1 And now you want to determine the S2, 42. Where A is equals to negative 4.5. Now, you don't have the time. But you do know that the final velocity is equals to 0. So, you can use the second equation, the one without the time v is equals to zero okay your u is still 30 meter per second because you didn't break just now and you can find the s okay we have some more space down here here okay v square is equals to zero because eventually the car will stop u is equals to 30 square plus 2 negative 4.5 to find the s okay so i'm gonna have 30 square and that one you will bring to the other side so the 30 you bring this side so you get negative and then negative cancel out with that one and then you divide by 2 and divide by 4.5 i got s is equal to 100 
okay so this one is your s2 i'm gonna put two over here so that you can differentiate so you can basically between s1 and s2 okay forgot what i want to do okay okay now if i want to find my total displacement again i'm running out of space so i'm going to do it over here again don't do it like this in exam total distance before car stop it's basically s equals to s1 plus s2 so you get 21 plus 100 meter actually 121 meter so 121 meter is actually further than the first time miss nyana saw the girl so initially the d is 100 meter so that means the car only stop after here somewhere over there okay which is extra 21 meter so that means the car hit the girl what happened to that girl hmm. uh, the, that girl being hit by the car lah. the car hit the girl tak sampai hati nak tulis eh? hmm Okay.